Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and welcome to our second series of uh, AMD APU PC builds. Remember, we did the initial build with the AMD A8 processor and a gigabyte board. Again, uh, this uh, this uh, build is now sponsored, of course, by AMD, providing the processor as well as gigabyte and Kingston with the RAM and um, SSD. But this video here, we're going to take a look at the processor and the um, <coughs> and the motherboard. So here is our AMD A10 Trinity processor. This is the brand new Trinity processor here. You can see the AMD A10 5800. This comes with a, a AMD Raytheon 7650 uh, graphics card in here. So you do have a 7000 series graphics card in here, as well as a new Trinity chipset. Um, you can see it right here. So now this is uh, uses a different socket. The the uh, the previous APUs used a socket FM1. This is actually a socket FM2 chip. So of course, if you had a previous APU and you try to upgrade to this, you will have to change your motherboard. And speaking of motherboards, uh, like I said, brought to you by Gigabyte. So I want to say thank you to them. This is the Gigabyte F2A85X-UP4. This is an um, FM2 socket motherboard. Um, this is designed for the new Trinity processors. Has a lot of cool features in here. So let's go ahead and check that out. So open it up. It's our chip. We set a chip to the side again. You've got your motherboard. You know, user guide. Always, always refer back to this because you know this is very important, very key. Um, you have got your gigabyte uh, TD. If you have internet access, definitely use this because you will need the driver support for that. Here, of course, you have got your, your ATA cables, of course, your uh, screen connector ports, if you will, a multilingual installation guide, all that stuff right there. And here is our board. So, let's bring this up, take this out. Let us close this up first. See what else we have in here. So, this is our board. And we're actually going to open it up. It's the first time we're taking a look at this board. And a couple of features to note about this board in its entirety. So, again, this is a socket. Um, this is a FM2 socket board, of course. This will actually will support liquid cooling with the Antec. Uh, cooling base so that's something to take note uh, this also actually uses the lucid ver2 so if you heard about lucid's technology that actually helps improve graphic performance this is something to take note so um, we would definitely check out some of the performance base we're using the inbuilt um, um, APUs here to see how well it performs you know try a game out you know maybe throw in battlefield or something like that we'll see how well that works um, on here. So, um, in terms of board itself, um, now this is the um, Hudson X85 uh, chipset. Now, what you have here, of course, you've got two uh, PCI slots here, so you can actually use your uh, extended um, graphics card ATI, ATI Crossfire ready. So, it's, you can use this to run a Crossfire configuration if you want to without using the APU itself. Um, in terms of uh, memory slots here, you've got four DIMM slots up to 64 gigabytes on there. Uh, we've also got here um, serial ATA ports here uh, in total of six at six gigabits per second. So you've got fast. You've got the onboard power button here, you know, in case you're, you want to test that out. Now, in terms of ports here on the sides that you can see, we've got four USB ports, U3.0 ports here, one, two, three four out there if you've got two USB 2.0 um, we've got your DVI VGA ports here uh, you've got your optical outs you've got HDMI um, we'll close that out there you've got Ethernet port there for your your audio ports out there also um, we've also got some more um, USB ports here um, around the system that's a USB that's a USB 3.0 and pretty much uh, it's a solid board piece um, all around this would work well for, of course for your again your a10 maximum the a10 APU uh, 5800 series um, again <coughs> the board itself um, 
The board retails for about 129 at Newegg, so you can pick this up at Newegg for 129 Chipset is also around the same amount, around 150 I believe. So you can combine this to get a nice solar system at 300 bucks. Uh, but I'm very, uh, this I actually didn't know this, I actually ran it over to Lucid, which uh, basically Lucid claims that, um, and this will help boost your system performance in terms of gaming. So that's something to take note. And I, I've seen some demos, uh, looked at some hands-on, and I think um, you know if you're trying to build a system at a budget, this probably might be the way to go. Um, but we'll test it out and see. We haven't actually run our own test on there. It's just run some games to see how well effectively that is. But this has the Lucid of uh, two, and um, you know again, 64 gigabytes of storage. It's the FM2 socket. You've also got HDMI out on the board, VGA, DVI. You've got four USB ports on, the, on here as well as two USB 2.0. You've got um, also um, all connected ports for USB uh, 3.0 on the board itself. Your serial ATA um, on here is uh, six uh, gigabits per second, so it's pretty good. And um, you've got, um, of course, a power button here, uh, which you can actually use for testing purposes. So overall, um, Pretty nice solid board. I, I like the I like the features that are packed on here. We'll have to install and see how well it works. But just giving you guys a quick look at the uh, Gigabyte F2A85X-UP4 um, AMD Trinity uh, APU board, as well as the A8 um, A10 5800 processor here. Uh, there's not much we can show you with processor because we have not installed it yet, and so just showing you guys there. But till then. Uh, thank you very much and always enjoy entertainment.